Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground. Good morning everyone. I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog today because I'm spending most of the day on my own. Nathan left for work at quarter to seven this morning so we were up around six-ish so we've had quite an early start but it feels like autumn today. It's the end of July and it feels like an autumn day. I have... I'm currently just making the bed. I have fluffy well they're not fluffy they're like winter socks on and i have a tracksuit on because i am freezing last night i had my thick winter's jams on so that's interesting i love autumn autumn's my favorite season but i've currently got about five loads of washing on the airer in the other room hanging on all the doors because I can't dry the clothes. I put them out this morning at like six o'clock because it said no rain today, just cloudy and like 11 degrees I think it said. It got like really dark this like around, what time was it? Like half seven. I was reading my book downstairs with a cup of tea. It got really dark and I was like, better check the weather app, rain. 10 minutes predicted rain. I was like, Ugh. so I had to go and get all the washing back in and then try and ram it on the error. And it was just, it's a mess in there. The clothes are never gonna dry because they're that squashed on the error. And it feels like when we first moved in and obviously the weather wasn't like hang your washing outside doors weather. And I was just stressing because the washing basket was piling up I was like, I am truly an adult these days having conversations about the fact that I can't hang washing outside. Great. There was no plan to vlog today. Nathan's gone to work. He has no idea that I'm vlogging. But I just thought we could spend the day together. A little short vlog, a little like 15 minute just to add in. I'm just making the bed. Done the washing, washed my face, brushed my teeth, all the usual stuff, read a little bit of my book, done some TikTok videos for the house account. And now I'm gonna go and start my work day. So I'm gonna go and paint. I've got three or four orders to do, a few to package up. And I think there's a couple of new designs like going around my head that I'm thinking I'm ready. I have to really think about them because obviously once I put the design on the vase we've got to roll with it then so I have to really think if it's something I want to do like if people are going to like it. So yeah that is the plan that was just the most random intro ever. I'm going to look like this for the whole vlog we're just going to have to work with it. We can't look our best every day you know. Do I want a drink before we start? I feel like I should probably go and fill my water up. Not had any breakfast, might have a snack a jack because what time is it? We went to bed late last night as well. We went to bed at like after 12 o'clock, I think it was, and obviously got up six o'clock. So not an ideal eight hours of sleep. What am I even looking at? Um, 10 past nine we're on, so I think I'm gonna go and grab a snack a jack and then go and work for a couple of hours. I also have a vlog to edit. I need to remember, I need to put an alarm on for like 11 o'clock because we're having slow cooker curry for tea. So I'm doing that, I'm in charge. It's easy, I literally just shove it all in the slow cooker. It's all Nathan will trust me to do because I am not the best cook, nor do I like cooking. Nathan is a good cook and he enjoys it. So that's where we're at. Also have <laughs> a lot of washing up to do in the sink so you know how most people will film like an aesthetic clip of like filling the water bottle up this is the sink so here's your aesthetic clip of me filling the water bottle up when the sink is full of pots that need washing from like two days
And on top of that, it can even just be subconscious and you don't even realize. It's just gone 12 o'clock, so I've been going for a couple of hours now. I've got most of my orders done. We've got a few here. We also have the Smiley Money Box, which somebody bought, which I'm honestly so happy about, but I also don't want to see it go. Um, a plant pot. These ones are some new designs back here that I'm going to upload today, so by the time you watch this video, these will be up if you like the look of any of them. Is this one my favourite? I really love the colourway for this one. I'm obsessed, as you can tell, with the wavy vases right now. I feel like they're just my thing right now. Also love the strawberry one. So if you, I think Nathan said this one was his favourite. So yeah, they will be on my Etsy if you fancy having a little browse. Also done this little strawberry, rainbow strawberry one another wavy one because like i said i'm just obsessed this one here is going to be some little flowers and bees like flying around um but yeah look at me i'm very hungry i need a bagel and i'm gonna go and put the curry in as well and that trauma can be abandonment As you've just seen, our curry ingredients are spinach, onion, peppers, chicken. We obviously use corn chicken, but you can use normal chicken. You can use any meat, to be honest, whatever meat you prefer in a curry. Um, if you don't want to use the jars, we have mixed... The times we've done this, sometimes we've done it with the jars, and sometimes we've done it with tomato puree, cream, curry powder... Uh, curry paste sorry curry powder and then like loads of seasoning so it just depends whether you want to be have it easier sometimes it's cheaper to get the jars um it's probably not as healthy but just depends what you want today we've done the jars um and yeah that's gonna cook now probably for like i want to say like five hours it'll probably go for four hours on high and then probably i'll switch it down for the last hour and I'll just keep stirring it maybe every hour because I don't want the spinach to get burnt because there's obviously not loads of liquid in it um so yeah that's easy enough probably about the only thing I can actually do that tastes good um I'm gonna do the washing up then I need to go back upstairs finish off painting wash all my brushes package and then edit the video and then it probably will be time for Nathan to be coming home because he finishes today at four o'clock, so yeah, I've not got too much longer to be fair to get all my stuff done. It's half 12 now. job that needs doing and you just feel like you can't concentrate until you've done it that's how I feel right now because the bookshelf I keep walking past it and it's stressing me out it's so dusty there's just like random stuff on the last two shelves and I am in the mood to organize it so that's what we're gonna do my hair is just 
a mess. Really should probably go and get in the shower. This is what my brain does. It just is very like, do, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. Oh, but then there's this to do and this to do. Like, it's just, I'm like, I need to do the workshop. Then I need to, like, do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? I feel like I'm really on one today. So if we look from far away at the top part, it doesn't look that bad, right? As we get further down, it all just goes downhill. It just is a mess and it has so much potential. Nathan's also got in his car the full Harry Potter book series. So I'm gonna leave a space for them. But I feel like I've seen a TikTok where she had some of them Sorry, the camera is literally waving around. I've seen a TikTok where she had some of them laid down. I'm gonna see if I can find it and show you it in a sec. Um, but yeah, that's how we're looking. It was actually worse than that. There was stuff everywhere, like receipts and postage things and money and bank cards. I've had to move all that for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, just bear in mind, it did actually look worse than it does. But we're gonna sort it and it's gonna look great when we're finished so she's like standing some up and laying some down to kind of fill it out more and just yeah putting a cute little accessories on so i'm gonna change things up on it and it's gonna look cute when we're finished this is such a good game by the way if you're looking for a fun game to put this is like a non-pg one but they do loads of different ones and it has like um so this is an example, which you ask the other person, which question would I find it most easiest to answer? A, who was my worst enemy? B, how much time I've spent on concert tickets in my life? And C, what was I doing this time last week? And you've got to guess which answer you think the person will say, if that makes sense. But honestly, it's a great game if you're needing a new little card game for, I don't know, holiday, date night, whatever you want really. Genuinely find Everly's clips everywhere. That was very therapeutic and I feel like my brain just feels so much more relaxed now. The rest of the Harry Potter books are in Nathan's car so they're gonna go on this shelf but we have the reds and oranges and yellows up here with these little fake cactuses and a yellow candle from Ikea and then obviously I've got to rep my own brand. I just don't never have any flowers in it. There we go, that looks better. Um, and then the second shelf, we have some blues and pinks and these also our Forever Utopia, but I don't actually stock them anymore. The little candles we got when we went to York, but <laughs> they're Everly's favorite thing, so she has broken them. And then we have this, which I got from a small business, but I've totally forgot the name, but it's like a little marble colourful dish. So I've just put the candle in there and another one of the plants. Then we have 
mostly coho books here this vending machine which i need to get some new sweets for because them skittles are genuinely inedible um and another candle then we have the harry potter shelf when the rest of the books are on that will be filled out and then the bottom is just like notebooks and journals um word searches coloring things so that is where we're at i feel like it's looking so much nicer i also have these to show you i know it's july um it may be august when this video goes up however these sell out really quick they're the hobbycraft plush pumpkins some of them are like this one was like four pound this one was three and then they do little ones for a pound and they're just honestly the cutest thing ever but they do sell out really quick they've got oh i'm dropping my pumpkin make sure you get on hobbycraft because they have already sold out once so that's how popular they are guess who's home oh, look at my roots when you get your hair done next bag? week two weeks look you look like you've got brown hair that's what i look like when i'm back to normal <laughs> like you it. look so different oh look at that <laughs> my hair needs a good wash. It's crazy. Hello. We've just. How did that work? I've heard you've been vlogging today. I did. How have you all been? We've all been good, haven't we, everyone? We've not done. Well, we've done a lot, but we've not done a lot like together, and we've done things that kind of took a long time. Mm. So I'm yeah. So starving. I can smell that curry. Curry smells delicious. Mm. I turned it down to low because the spinach was like black. going black. Yeah. <laughs> But we've got Nathan's books out the car, so we're going to put them on the shelf. And then the bookshelf will be done for now. Like, reorganised. It looks so much better though, doesn't I it? I loved it. I did notice it. You did notice as it, actually, I came yeah. In, I said, oh, that looks blue. My hair beautiful. is just... Yeah, we went to the gym. Nathan wasn't going to go, were you? No, I didn't have the didn't motivation. Force him to go. But you know, we work. Some days I don't have the motivation. Mm -hmm. And when I don't have the motivation, you go, that's all right, babe, we won't go. No, no. we won't do that to you. When no. you don't have the motivation, I'm like... Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah, and I'm like, come on, get a bed. Come on. <laughs> let's go to bed. Right, let's put these books on here. Okay, I'm gonna put walking dead on. Okay. Let's put. Oh. Everybody, listening. Um, <laughs> I've, I've, re oh, I've restarted to walking dead. Um, because years ago I was obsessed. <laughs> wasn't and I? And you made me watch it. Yeah, and you were obsessed with it. And now and I now am I've, so. I've rewatched from season one, and now I think. Dinny couldn't have even got past the first 10 minutes. <laughs> I have no tolerance for violent things. Like, I, I, I feel like sick. I feel like I'm gonna have a genuine panic attack and I close my eyes and I miss half the program. I fell in love with it again, but spoiler alert. I fell off the wagon when Glenn died. Oh, uh, yeah. So, let's hope I don't fall off the wagon again. This You're time. born. I might. That's when I stopped watching it too. my favorite. I did really no. like Glenn. Do you know no. who's my favourite? Maggie. I love Maggie. Okay, Don't who? get me wrong, but Daryl. Daryl? Is that what he's called? Daryl. Right, so what order did it... Oh, the, the books have numbers in, so, yeah, so it, it, it won't be a problem for me. Without looking at the numbers, babe, what's the order of the books? I'm not... You're not doing this because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really, yeah. Oh, wait, we're missing. We shouldn't be. We should have oh, seven no. books. God, these... Are... Who on earth reads these? I am going to read them one day. Oh my, I will read them one day in my, in my life. life. In my <laughs> lifetime, I'm going to read a book. Has anybody actually read all of these books? Yeah, babe. Multiple times. Oh, yeah. Cody's read them multiple Look times. Look at these. Babe, Cody's read them multiple times. This is... That is... Right, compared to a that's book... That's a 600 page... I think that's a 700 page book, that one. Right, compared to a usual book that I read. That is a joke. Yeah, but it lasts a long time. And do you know what, babe? Now I've uh, now I've rearranged the bookshelf. Mm. I really want to order some books. Oh, here we go. So, if anybody wants to drop some recommendations, then he's well. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good, babe. Where do we want Fantastic Beasts at the end? You need to get the other Fantastic Beasts book. Is there another one? There's only one, but there's two oh, films. No, that's the Crimes of Grindelwald screenplay, it's not. Ah, uh, is there a book though? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I might be totally screenplay? lying. Screenplay? What, like a... It's a script. Interesting. You read, read that, that, didn't you? I've read that and I've also read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. How do we put this? Look, this is a one book, isn't it? Mm, so good. Kayla got me that one, yeah. So cool. 
Right, how do I put this? Do I like, s I want it like on shore, but it's just like not gonna fit. So do I, so do I stand it like this? Is this cool? Or is this not cool? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cool. And then Hagrid can go there. Mm, she can go on top of there. There or there? What do you think? Up there. And move you along. And there we go. Finito bed, there's your Harry Potter off. Oh, beautiful. How nice does that look? I'm gonna bring another pop to get out. Right, Beb, I'm gonna go and check on this curry. Yeah. Did you have a nice day at work? You didn't answer my question. I did, thank you. No worries. I had a meeting with my star boss. Yeah. It was had, interesting. And I had breakfast, didn't you? Yeah, I had breakfast. <laughs> First time I had breakfast. Um, right, I'm gonna go and get in the shower, check this curry, and then we're gonna eat. I'm gonna watch Walking Dead while Denny sorts my tea out. Yeah. Because. I hope it tastes good because it's really watery. I love your... Let's go and have a look because I it was looking... I love your curry. I'm not going to look at it because I want a surprise. No, but it was looking really watery. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look what I got from the garden centre too. Oh, the camera's going to die. I got these two plants here that need to be planted in the front garden. And then I got this succulent one with the pot that I'm going to paint and that's going to live on this table here. But how cute. Also, the rainwater has been storing up in this pool and now it needs cleaning because it's not even white. It just looks like yellow, but that's where we're at. Packages at this hour. Packages at this hour. They are not calves. They are speedball salesmen. This we... Yeah, but they'll need uh, the, flo the suction pack, aren't they? We have this thing with pillows where how often do you guys buy pillows because well, Google says every one to two years if we bought a pillow every one to two years we would be in the hospital with back pain because I don't know we've tried every single type of pillow and they're just not cutting it oh no they're they nice now these ones but Amazon see, choice is my type of pillow it's only it's gonna be yours babe let me see Happy? No. Nathan has woke up every single day. He started bringing the cushions off off the sofa because he says he's got back pain because of his pillows. Oh yeah, I've got back pain. Now we we bought one of them pillows when we moved in, so it's really not that old. It's a few months old. I'm just telling you, it's just <sighs> a lie when it says one we've tried. We've tried expensive pillows. We've tried. The like solid memory foam ones we've tried the, See, the memory foam one i did like at first i hated really it good. i hate the memory foam I, it might be too hard hard but yeah. it's soft as no, it's springy i love both of them it's like a nice pillow wanna. that i love both absolutely not if they say you shouldn't swap your pillows unless they fold in half whereas ours go like <laughs> and they stay like that <laughs> Oh, I'm happy with them. Well, you I'll haven't slept them. on it yet. I know. I'll link them below in case anybody needs new pillows. But they're quite thick, them. Look at that. That is put a, a chunky... Put a rating on the screen. Of we'll the night's sleep. Them. Yeah. Okay. I'll put your rating and my rating. Okay. Nathan is... He falls asleep on his back, but then turns on his side. I'm like a side sleeper only, but I'll sometimes do that. You know, like, I think it's only females that do it, not to be like... You know, like, where you're laid on your front and, like, one leg's, like, up? Does that make sense? Some men sleep like that. Do they? Yeah. Really? I sleep like that. Like this? Hang on. Oh, no, I don't sleep. No, I lay on my side and lift my leg up. <laughs> can you see how I'm laid? My leg is literally, like, all the way up and the other leg's all the way I down. I never sleep on my front. I wouldn't be able to breathe. Yeah, but I'm not on my front because it's like I'm on my side. No, but you're not. But go I'm on like your this. actual side. Like, that is my front. My actual side. I'd have to be like this. Yeah, I do that. I sleep like that, but lift that leg up. This one? Where you've just had it, yeah. That's how I sleep. Oh, no, on the bottom of my back? Maybe that's my sleep. Oh, <laughs> no. Let's go and check on the naan bread. 